These are hands down my favorite ways, favorite ways to stay up to date with what's happening in the world of technology, whether that's new products and gadgets, or if it's industry news, whether it's keeping up to date with what controversial people in tech are doing. I have stuck to these sources for so, so many years. So they're tried and tested, check them out. Number one now, and probably always will be, is Product Hunt. I like Product Hunt because it's really the one stop shop, like one repository for finding out about all the product launches happening everywhere. It's also a great place to find products that you might want to use for problems that you have. And I also like it because it's a great source of inspiration for potential business ideas. Number two is TechCrunch. Sometimes I'm not sure if I do like TechCrunch, but they do have a lot of relevant news, so I do find myself reading it. Fun fact, a few years ago, I got to meet the editor-in-chief or chief editor at TechCrunch. Like with any other form of journalism, we know that sometimes the things that get featured in TechCrunch aren't there for the right reasons, but nonetheless, I find their articles to be pretty well written, so I will read them. Next, podcast-wise, I have This Week in Tech, Highly recommend this. It's pretty lengthy, but it's very topical. Something you can kind of leave on in the background and they cover lots of different topics. So you can even fast forward to the specific topics that you're interested in. And Bloomberg technology is actually just like 10 minute snippets. So I really like this because it's very succinct, but I also find that it doesn't go super in depth. So between this and the previous podcast, it's a really good balance. And last but not least is the Technically blog. Now this isn't touching on current events in the tech industry, but it's still talking about really important technical concepts. And sometimes, you know, that are very relevant to know. So for example, recently he's been publishing a lot of articles related to AI. So it's not about, you know, a new product in tech or uh, something exciting happening in the tech industry, but he talks a little bit about the behind the scenes of what AI is and how it works.